All right, chat. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. We are back in Satisfactory with some Satisfactory Plus mod. And last time we did like a little basic setup thing here, right? We It's not fully optimized, especially with the concrete. But the rods and plates are, right? The rods and plates are. We played around with some of the, 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 the miners, the crushers, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. Which, the, the ore, dude. Weirdly freaky. I hated this ore when they implemented it into the actual vanilla game. Uh, in Experimental. And the whole uh, ice cream looking copper thing they added as well. It was like alien eggs. Uh, we automated the biomass as well, didn't we? Right? So we got wood, wood, wood going in here. Uh, we also got leaves in that side. Then goes into here to make biomass, and the biomass goes into the automated burners. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got that going. So we got two. Technically, it could hold. We could do three for this whole setup to work. The reason I say that is because of um. Uh, the what's it called, right? Yeah. Uh, right. Let me put some music on. That's good for uh, YouTube at least. All right. There we go. Hey, crafty dog. Good morning. Good morning. So, what's this mod about? It's basically an overhaul mod for Satisfactory. It changes everything regarding the actual game itself, the base game. So your your vanilla recipes have changed. Like they've added new machines. For example, that's a that's a miner over there, right? And this miner, if you actually go into it, you can actually change the drill heads as well. So you can see this kind of miner. It's a little bit different. It's, it, it has two outputs, but then also you can see what I'm highlight metal mining head. Right, so I can change the different mining head on it, which we'll find out later on what other stuff we can do with it. Um, you know, we'll craft is in here, but then this ore that comes out the miners has to go into a crusher, and then with all basic ores, it gives off um, stone, right? And the stone can then be made into concrete. Is it stone? Or? Yeah, crushed stone, and the crushed stone can then be made into concrete. Um, so no matter if you're grabbing the uh, any basic ore, you're going to make concrete from it. So there's no, you know, limestone nodes anywhere. All the basic nodes have changed. I think, I'm pretty sure this is, is it star star Starolite? Starolite? What's this one again? Uh, Stereotype. So it's kind of, you've got to learn the whole uh, game again, right? You know? Hello, I am dead. How are you doing? Hello, Kizikus? Well, I wasn't invited to the funeral. What do you mean? <laughs> Hello. Where do you get mods? If you do exclamation mark mods, Minder. Do exclamation mark mods. Give that link a click. In the top right hand corner, you'll see download. You can download the mod launcher, right? And all you need to do is just go up into the... When you open the mod launcher, you'll literally just search for any mods you want and just click install. And then click on the drop down arrow and go to your installed section and then you can pause them or all that kind of stuff it's a very it's a very simple thing to do you don't have to like go into the config file change this numerical value to this you don't have to do any of that that's how it used to be way back in the day for mods before satisfactory right um and all this kind of stuff but there's a there's a mod launcher so you can just go install that mod i want to install that mod install that mod play that is it Bam, 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 bam. Exclamation mark. God damn it. Evil. God damn it. Um. Hey, bitch. Yo. What up, Professor? How doing? How doing? It's too hot outside. Wait. You got hot weather right now, Kizikas? Cause...
That's not like you. What up, Frosty? I'm doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. How are you doing? It's hot over there. Hot over there. What season is it for you guys? Um. Okay, so we've got basic, basic, basic stereotype, right? What could, what did we want to add next after this? Do we want to look at? Um, we want to look at what's it called, right? Um, the other items, for example, because we're coming a lot, we're coming across like screws a lot regarding the recipes for this mod. Hot chicken season. <laughs> You guys are bloody nerds. Monsoon season. Um, so what was the other stuff we wanted to look at? Like we've got copper bush, uh, bush bars. That's all that's and tin's going to be a separate thing by itself as well. Um, what other stuff can we do with iron? Basically iron plates, iron rods, iron screws, reinforced iron plates. We could do that. We can do iron wire. So we can set all of these up. So let's do iron wire and screws next, a part of part of this factory. Uh, we're going to need tin to make simple conveyors. So we're not going to focus on that yet because we'll need to merge buildings for that. Summer dress season. Yeah, I've got my aircon on right now, even though it's 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 pissing down outside. Even though it's raining. I am playing Satisfactory Plus mod. Yeah, I've done a video on it in the past, and I'm working on a mini series for it right now. With rain and thunderstorms, yeah. Uh, let me grab some. This is my concrete, right? Yeah. And then you're my iron plates, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. At least we've got some, the, the basic necessities now, so we we don't want to be really handcrafting much anymore. You know? Does it make the game more grindy or difficult? Yes, Crafty Dog. Yeah. It it, it 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 does straight off the bat i'll show you the hub in fact i'll show you the hub it's when you play this mod it's overhaul mod right so you are you are introduced to many many new things right out the get-go right so once you once you complete your hub um this is your tier one right so you have simple logistics so like even if you even in tier zero right you you're working through your hub. You're gonna you're gonna be unlocking the equipment workshop, portable miner, iron wire, and inventory slots. Hub two, scanner to or for uh, the sapphire ore, smelters, power lines, crushed sapphire, copper ingots, copper rods, wire cable, and then onto the next things where you're gonna be unlocking concrete, crushed stone, reinforced plates off the bat as well as screws. Then you've got the rubite ore, which has replaced all the limestone uh, nodes. Uh, which gives you tin ingots, crushed through by the crusher machine, tin plates. And this is only in tier zero, right? And then you have a hub grade five, which is your modular miner, the mining head, tin rod, tin wire. This this mod is not for those who, you know, uh, want to... It, it, it's for those, like, hardcore players who don't mind the grind and want to work on the mathematics and... All this kind of stuff because you do need a lot more mathematics in this early game of satisfaction with the mod compared to vanilla right um you got wind turbines the the map and automated biomass generators which will be coming into vanilla soon and then you go into tier one you got simple logistics which gives you the simple conveyor belt recipe which is something you need for mark twos and to make them you need tin and uh, you need iron sheets and tin sheets which is not part of the base game, right? How do you get coal? Is that more complicated? I've not got to coal yet, actually. Not got to coal yet. Uh, glass walls. So glass walls in here, you need actually sand. You know, you other forms of uh, windows. Better conveyors. So Mark II belts are in Tier 1. Uh, with uh, Mark II lifts. And to make belt these belts, you need the simple conveyor belts which is not a placeable item. It's actually a usable item, like a just like your normal other stuff. Destruction of nature, which is your chainsaw and stuff. Base building, research stuff. 
improved manufacturing, which leads to the assembler, lead sheets and rotors. Then you go along, which can go a little bit further, ore sorting, so you can get a sorter, crushed tin, tin ingot, lead ingot, lead plates, fix-it blueprints. Then you got tier two, which is additional inventory slots, then alloys, bronze, bronze stuff, bronze plates, beams, modular frames, advanced parts, which is bronze frames, lead frames, and then you've got zinc, and this is only tier two. You know what I mean? So like it's it's a if if you're a hardcore player of satisfactory and you feel like you've got you know your worth out of vanilla this is definitely a mod to play with it basically changes the game like like crazy and it's like playing the game all again like i'm playing the game and i'm running around going okay i i know for a fact like i've got enough items to build these foundations or this machine here but then i go to place it and it's a different entire different recipe so like my mind is just getting you know so there's a lot of stuff that's in this it i wouldn't say it's a mod in general it's basically a mod pack right it's a collection of mods that have been put together uh especially like the fix it farmings in this um which I was a beta tester for it, like way way before it came out. Um, so you can do the whole farming side of things, and then um, yeah. But sorry, your mod's name, Dave. Yeah, it basically, is Crafty Dog. Basically, is because that had the same ore as the Sterilite ore, Rubite ore, and all that kind of stuff. Basically, is. Um. Okay. Right. So what we want to do now is. We want to look... We've not got a... We don't have smart splitters yet, do we? Uh, we could look into the MAM for that. Now that we're able to place it down. But we are going to need tin plates and iron wire. So if we wanted to go down the... I need wire. I'm going to have to handcraft some stuff here. I need iron wire. Uh, the better one, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's get a bit of you. Do I need anything else here? That should be alright. Okay, so we're going to get screws, which is going to be from your rods. We're going to get them 50 per minute from 20. And then also we are going to need some iron wire. So iron sheets come from plates and iron wire comes from rods. Um, how many rods are we making right now? Because I want to make sure we've got rods to be spurred. Uh, 15, 30. Are we making 60? 15, yeah, 30. Yeah, we're making 60. So we've got 60 rods, which means we can put one of these down to give us 50 screws per minute. We could get uh, iron wire. That needs 15 per minute. So that'd be technically 35, leaving us with 25 iron rods going into storage. Um, so we could do that. So what I am going to do is I'm going to remove this stuff here um we're gonna get this to go into its own so wait well it was 15 for the what's it called right for the uh iron wire because technically i can just bring you t together let's just remove these out Because uh, you can just be a one-to-one. -one. Let's put you on the end here. You can just directly run straight into in. You can be set to iron wire, which is 15 per minute, which will give me 30. Um, and then it's going to be... Uh, 
for the screws, it was 20, right? Yeah. Um, so for you, I'm going to bring you actually further forward because just to keep all these machines aligned. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a splitter. So we've got here. Uh, and then we're going to get you directly going to you. You're going to come down here. You're going to go into there. Um, and then just extend this along a little bit. So you're going to be bringing out the additional rods. You're going to go into plates. The plates, we want to be copper sheets, right? I'm going to need some reinforced plates. Uh, a lot of time, yeah. I'm playing something while the stream is running in the background. However, mm, interesting. Yeah, oh, foundations take screws. Exactly, dude exactly hence the reason i literally said like earlier that um you feel like you've got the because we're used to playing the vanilla satisfactory and you kind of feel like you look at your inventory and go yeah we've got the the, the right things right and then you go down to place a foundation for example and you're like oh crap i need screws so yeah Uh, my grinding a lot, uh, and that alone, I can, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a lot more grindy, yeah. Uh, okay, so with uh, iron sheets, they just need plates, which is 20 per minute. We are making how many per minute? Uh, okay, so it's just a one to one ratio for these, so let's just remove this, remove this, remove this. Uh, and then we're just gonna grab you and we're just going to place you here you're going to directly feed into this you're going to make uh, iron sheets you're going to be my plates so you're my plates you're my rods you're the excess rods, which is going to be an additional five. So this will be 20 rods here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a merger down here. Like so. This is going to send any excess stuff that way. They're going to go onto there. I would like to prioritize this because right now it's going to send 7.5... You're sending 15, right? Oh my god, I need to be doing this. What am I doing here? You need to be merging with this one here. You're coming through. You're going straight through there. You're going through there. Nice. Then the additional ones, because this will eventually... This has got an additional 2.5 on the line. So eventually this will back up. This bit will back up. Then it will push towards this. So that's that. You're coming out. All right, let's get these powered. So what's the challenge involved in putting up with a spellizer or each or unlocking each tier even more difficult? I've not actually got to the space elevator yet. I've not actually put that down. So like I've experienced this in this for the first time myself. So it's like you know, it's a whole new journey for me also. But 
but it's uh, definitely something to, you know, pass the time on a little bit. So now we've got iron sheets being made. Uh, we need to make this to be uh, iron wire. No, it wasn't. It was screws. This is iron wire. Um... And then, yeah. It's so iron wire. Screws. That seems to be our basic iron stuff. So, iron plates, uh, sorry, iron um, sheets, iron plates, iron rods, screws, and iron wire. See something different but familiar? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely a weird way to play right now. Do, 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 do. Uh, this one's stuff in the city. We'll see you later. Have a good one, Mindless. Thanks for joining in today. Appreciate you. Okay, so regarding storage, we're going to put you into storage. Uh... Let's get you good old starter factories, you know. I need some more screws. I'm just going to have to take them out of here for now. Until we put them into uh, storage containers around here. So we're going to need how many? Five? Five storage containers. I'm pretty sure there is... Um, actually, I can't go this way. Because we're gonna need that for the the other ore. Okay, let's just remove these belts. Does this mod give you the ability to daisy chain machines? So some machines you can daisy chain, some you can. I've kind of noticed. Yeah. Uh, storage containers. the concrete here as well. Uh, storage container. 
We need five belts going this way, basically. Yeah, we're going to change the direction of the belts we're doing to this way. Oh, it's bank holiday today, isn't it? Indeed. Yeah, it's weird because I was telling Joe last night, I was like, it's like, it's weird now because like, I used to enjoy looking forward to our, like bank holiday and stuff. And, uh... It's just a normal, another day for me now. So it's a normal, normal bank holiday. Six. 